Bonjour guys! My name is Jenny and today I bring to you a really exciting video, something that I usually don't do and today is a very special edition. It is a book haul and it is not just any book haul. I went to Shakespeare and Company. Ta -da! If you don't know about Shakespeare and Company, it is an English bookstore located in Paris right across from Notre Dame and it is probably the prettiest bookstore, the kind of most extraordinary bookstore that I've went into so far. It is very small, very cozy, the shelves go all the way up to the roof and uh, the thing is that the building is owned uh, by the uh, bookstore owner and um, I think according to my research uh, the, a lot of young aspiring writers are allowed to house there and they work for the bookstore and they get to write there. There's a piano upstairs, there's a lot of old book volumes and you can sit there and they're all typewriters and it's so cool. I went in there twice, if you can't tell. I actually have two bags, one plastic bag because it was raining on the first day when I went there and then I went there again. Yeah, I didn't buy that many books though. It is just so lovely to explore. Every nook and cranny has some kind of cool thing. There are walls with notes on it and you can, I think, have coffee there and it's just... And you could walk through there and listen to two guys discuss Soviet science fiction to each other and I mean, where can you hear that? It was just so bizarre and it was so cool. There were so many English-speaking people there and I loved it. So yeah, if you ever have a chance to go to Paris and you're a book lover and you like English, uh, go to a Shakespearean company because come on guys, it's like a book lover's dream come true. Okay, let's get into the haul. So um, I went there twice and the first time I just walked around and the first, eye that, uh, the first book that caught my eye is this one and it's a Neil Gaiman book and I have never read a Neil Gaiman book before. This is actually a collection of fantastical stories um, amongst which uh, Neil Gaiman is also an author but he picked out all the stories and they're written by Neil Gaiman, Di Diana Wen Wang Jones, E. Nesbitt and many more and the book is called Unnatural Creatures and it's just a story about fantastical beasts and I think it's children or middle grade, but it looks gorgeous and it just sounded really enchanting, so I wanted to check it out. This is the first book. Very excited. Okay, the second book that I got was this really cool edition of Kurt Vonnegut's Cat's Cradle and I just, I've been wanting to read this book for a long time and I just know it's really, really trippy and from what I gather it's about this professor or this doctor who is the father of the atomic bomb and he also creates some kind of weird lethal chemical and his children, his three children, start going on a crazy search for it. Yeah, that's all I know about it. I really like the cover. Uh, it's not very thick. The book is very thin and I just really want to read it. Ooh, there's actually a really cool edition of A Clockwork Orange on there as well. Well, I didn't see that one in the store because the store was piled high and there were not a lot of editions of books and there were just so many books in there. It took me, and the first time I went there, I was in there for like two hours and just browsing every single shelf and it was really fun. So that's the second book I got. Then I got, I actually have this as an ebook, but I own all the other two books in paperback so I thought I'd get it. The Prisoner of Heaven by Carlos Ruiz Sanfon. And if you have read The Shadow of the Wind or The Angel's Game, you'll know this is part of the Graveyard of For Cemetery of Forgotten Books series. And I absolutely love those books. If you haven't read them, they're kind of gothic. They're about basically about different characters who discover the cemetery of forgotten books and the thing about the cemetery is as you go in there you get a book and it kind of becomes your protege, not protege but you're supposed to take care of it and then weird stories usually happen around these characters and so I'm really excited to read this one. I love the first two books and I'm sure this one will be also really really great. It's actually, and, and, and it's actually the same characters as Shadow of the Wind so even better because that one was actually my favorite of both of the books. Then I went there and I, like after a couple of days, I found Half Bad because it just came out, I guess. I was there like 
yesterday, so one day ago, and I bought Half Bad, and um, a lot of people were wanting to read this, and it sounds really interesting. I don't know much about it. I know it's about witches. It's about white witches and black witches, and a boy who has to decide because he's both. So that's all I know. It sounds really cool, and yes, uh, I don't know much about it. I'm gonna read it though soon. And the last book that I found is called The Coincidence Engine and I read the blurb and it just sounds really really awesome. It's described as a puzzler with brains brawn and abundance of madcap mischief, a brain twister and kind of a spy novel and it just sounds really awesome. I don't know. Just. I can't really explain this. It's about a guy who travels through America and there's a weird lot of coincidences that happen and suddenly he's being chased. And then there's mistaken identity and madness and murder and... Guys, come on. How can you not want to read this book? This is... I'm super excited for this one. This one sounds really, really, really awesome. And then, um, they also gave me some bookmarks and they actually have some events on them on the back but I'm not in Paris anymore so I can't go go see them they often have readings and things going on in their in their bookstore Ooh, and the coolest thing about Shakespeare Company is that you can ask them to stamp your books and you get a Shakespeare stamp and it says um, kilometer zero Paris which is uh, the starting point at Notre Dame from where all the distances are counted in France so and I got all my books stamped. And it's so cool because it's it's like a souvenir of Paris. Even though it's a you know you can buy books and you can especially with Amazon you can buy books and you can forget where you got them from. And this way I will always know I got these there. Um, then one more thing that I got at Shakespeare Company is this awesome tote bag. It's just the storefront and you know it was really it was super cheap so I just had to get it and you know, for sustainable grocery shopping, get yourself a toast bag. Or if I want to go to university and just throw in a notebook or something like that, get yourself a tote bag. It looks really nice. And I'm sure if people know it, it's a great conversation starter. And then, which I didn't get there, but it's book related, I got a bookmark uh, from the Musée d'Orsay, which is an impressionistic museum across from the Louvre. And I went there with a friend and she chose this for me and I bought it and I'm gonna use it. I'm, I'm not really good at using bookmarks because usually I can remember where I stopped reading or I use e-readers then bookmarks are obviously unnecessary. But I just wanted something artsy and really nice and which reminded me. I don't really like tacky souvenirs so I thought this might be a cool souvenir. Yeah, that was my book haul. I was so happy to go to Paris. I had an amazing time there. If you actually want to see what went down there, I have a travel vlog channel where I posted everything about China and everything about Paris and you can go watch some stuff if you like to or not, if you just like books. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this book haul and see you next time with another video. Bye bye!